the Trump card is being announced and it is exactly like what Indian Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi did the same way an announcement. Trump card is America first and Modi card was India nation first. When we say America first or India first, it doesn't make any specific meaning. It can be anything. Each person can interpret, define it the way that person wishes or feels. So when Trump say America first, what he mean may not be the same meaning for every American citizen. It differs. Another common thing between Trump and Modi it is this. Trump made a too much generalization announcing his attack against Islam and Modi did an attack against the common people through demonetization in the name of black money or fake currency. In Trump's attack, he made a very common, very generalized statement saying he is against Islam, which is not a right path. You cannot generalize. You cannot make such a generalization. Terrorism is totally different and religion is totally different. That is something which uh, he should withdraw. And on the other side, Narendra Modi, in the name of hitting to the fake currency or so-called black money, which doesn't exist anywhere, attacked on every Indian through demonetization. Everyone is affected. And the people who has currency in large quantity whether it is black money or white money or fake money or whatever it is, all of them got it, it changed into the new currency without any difficulty. It is all known to the common people. It is all very clear and open to everyone. Everyone knows it. The people who had large currency in 500 rupees and 1000 rupees all got cleared through reserve bank branches or other bank branches or whatever it is, how did they manage it to do is to be answered by Narendra Modi himself or the reserve bank governor. The common principle that everyone should know is about the equations. Life is give and take. When Trump say America first and restrict every other people from the process of development, America itself is going to get affected. The people who are working for American companies are contributing towards the wealth of American companies. They are creating wealth and taking their share. It is revenue generation and revenue sharing. America is not doing charity on to people. America is not giving things free to anybody. The Indian people who are working there in America are contributing largely towards to the growth of American economy. We should understand that. With all respect to the Honorable President of United States of America, and with all respect to the Honorable Prime Minister of India, we would like to present a humble suggestion. The American President should focus on skill development of the people of America so that the companies can recruit them. They become productive. And the Indian Prime Minister 
should focus on the government system and the government officials to develop skills on them to deliver. The wealth of India is hijacked by the official machinery and they are not at all productive. And he is trying to develop skills on Indian people. So the Honorable Prime Minister of India should focus on skill development on Indian government officials. And the Honorable President of America should focus on skill development of American people. Not everybody. American people who are productive are not complaining. They are working and earning, making their living. The people who are unproductive are the people who are striking, making issues, all those things. Do some activities to make them productive. Productivity is the key of development. Thank you very much.